all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're going to be talking about the drag and drop feature in react so there are few libraries like couple of libraries over here like react beautiful dnd and react dnd so both the li library works a little different like perspective and views and behavior all the things is same for all both the libraries but there is one more way we can create the drag and drop which is custom like by using the gsx features into the react js draggable and uh, on drag on drop so these kind of uh, functions that comes with the react gsx that you can use for making your elements draggable and it can be replaced from one element to another by dragging so that you can do by custom so first we're gonna look into this react beautiful dnd and then we're gonna move to that custom part so let's check this out one example is over here so let's check this out example okay so simple vertical this time just gonna try so into the code sandbox so i'll guide you the code as well how it works so you can see this is the simple list and if i try to replace it with the another element so it's gonna be replaced automatically so it's not getting replaced it's just moving the position of that element so it's splicing the element and shifting the position of the element at another index that's happening over here so this is the new function now so there it is like uh, let me just show you the api part so this is the component okay inside that you need to wrap all the children so first you need to wrap, like uh, use this drag and drop context so this is the kind of context api which you need to use after that you need to use the droppable component in inside of that you need to just use it like this okay so this is the callback function over here like it's a context api inside that you need to provide all the children's like this and you need to map it all the elements over here like this one okay so, so this is the scenario kind of thing of the react beautiful dnd that you need to always write and after that inside of that you need to uh, map your elements like this so map starts from here after that you need to make all the elements draggable so you need to use the draggable api key from here so you need to import it first and after that you need to put all the elements inside the draggable and you need to provide the id and all the things over here inside that you need to write your all the elements so you can see the div is written over here and these reference also you need to provide to making that element properly draggable so you can see this is how it looks like so wherever you drop it so it's going to be dropped at that place so that for that kind of thing you need to do the you need to assign these things also it's compulsory and after that you can write your contact and whatever the element you want to make it draggable that you can write it over here because this is the mandatory thing all the things are written over here so these things you need to always have a look like into whenever you are writing code for the drag and drop and after that there are a few functions over here on drag end and this uh, reorder so always you're going to use this on drag to end only over here so when you start dragging it automatically saves the id of that and on drag end it will provide you the result like which element you were dragging and at which index you have dropped that element okay so both the things it will provide you in result dot source and destination so you can count those source and destination over here and you can play with that data okay with your state so it's setting the state and reordering the component so reorder function also over here so like if you are dragging it from here and dropping it somewhere so it's reordering the elements into the array so this reorder function is written over here and it's splicing and replacing the array index from different element index okay so that's the kind of thing is happening over here so this is the code is written it's already on the code sandbox so you can just go into the react beautiful dnd and you can get these examples over here okay horizontal list so there are so many fun uh, like uh, uh, examples over here so you can use this but and you can have a look at the code and you can implement by your own choice like as per you want so the problem is over here is like recently i faced into this the grouping part let's suppose this is the flat list over here you have right now so you are dragging and dropping so you will just get the index and you can play with that index and let's suppose you have a group you have a grouping let's suppose you uh, you have a flat array inside that flat array there are some grouping kind of things like uh, group keys group one group two group three so you need to map all the elements inside the group one so let's suppose group one is here so you need to map the all the element of related to group one and filter out and all the things you need to do and after that there is a group two and also you need to map all the elements into the group two so if you have to do that and now you have to you have to change the grouping for that like let's suppose you want to 
drag the element from group 2 and drag drop it into the group 1 so it should automatically take the element all the behavior of group 1 so how you can do this by dragging so you won't you can't do that by using the index so you need some like id or something into the like uh, callback function that uh, you will be able to track that where it is coming from and where it should be exist so that kind of thing you need some reference okay so that reference doesn't come into this uh, drag and drop like this uh, context api or this drag uh, react beautiful dnd uh, apis because it always provide you result and it, this result will have always like uh, uh, what do you say uh, like source and destination only apart from that you won't get anything so by using the source and destination let's suppose you have a zero element in group one and zero element in group two and if you drag both the elements so you will get zero element like zero index value for four source and destination so how will you get that like which one you have to drag at which place so at that time we have this kind of thing so this comes into the picture so this is like uh, our custom drag and drop so let me just show you the code of this one so this is the custom drag and also this is an honestly simple code i have written right now but you can pass another value inside of this and well like let's suppose you have started the dragging the element okay so you can pass up i am passing the index over here apart from passing the index you can pass the multiple parameters over here into this one so this is a custom so custom functions are also written over here so you can pass multiple parameters like grouping key or something like that and you can manage the state according to that and you can map it re like remap it over here like whenever you will mount the component it will automatically gonna adjust into your map function okay so that you can do so for doing that you can let's have a look at this code so this is a custom items array over here and after that uh, so i'm just setting into the list state okay after that i'm mapping this state over here like list dot map and i, I uh, used all the functions inside this like on drop on drag enter and drag start and after that i wrote the function for the drag start i'm just saving the position of the current element which one i'm dragging so it's getting saved into this use ref okay and next i'm just using the drag enter where i'm saving the drag enter like in which area i have entered so that element uh, position i'm just putting into the drag over item use ref and after that i'm just on drop of that like whenever my drop function gonna work after that i'm just using all the manipulation whatever the manipulation i have to do that i'm doing over here okay so it will uh, change the position and let me just show you. let's suppose i have to replace the item five with six okay so you can see six is replaced with five and again i will do this one so you can see five is replaced with six so that kind of thing if you have to do the same for the one and two so it's gonna replace the like position of uh, one and two same one with three so it's gonna replace the one and three for doing this one it's a custom react and drag and drop so there's no any kind of library i'm using you can see only the react used it and use it if i'm using over here okay let me delete this array because i don't need that one okay so that's it this is the uh, like uh, 50 line of code and it's as it is like react beautiful dnd is working for me Okay, so this this is working for me. So like this is like little customizable, so customizable, and all the CSS and everything is written. So it looks little pretty cool. But here I haven't done anything. I just focus on the functionality part. So this is how it looks like. So for this one, this code you will find into the like uh, this. Uh, react floor pro repo because i have created one more component like react drag and drop so you can find into the same repository which i shared for your re recent react flow pro versions so the li like videos are coming on that playlist as well so you can find this code as well over there and you can just copy and paste and use it so no need to worry about that one so that's it like uh, this is i just wanted to show you so recently i just got stuck into the this where i got stuck so this is a kind of limitation over here like uh, in the react beautiful dnd and react dnd so it provides you the index not the other element id or something like that so that's the that's the issue over there but yeah if you want to do some kind of custom thing so you should always use react custom drag and drop okay the apis for drag and drop so these you can use and you can make your app as per your own choice like whatever you want to customization 
you whatever the customization you want to do into your app so that you can do so thank you so much guys thank you for watching if you have like learned something from this video just let me know and please note down the comment if you get stuck somewhere and if you want to ask something so you can just write the comment thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next video